What's up guys, we're here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I kind of want to, we just finished our stream. We are going to just talk about the state of Diablo 4 in a way and just kind of my thoughts on the season and everything I've experienced. I'm 93. We just hit 93. We're almost to 100. We played roughly, let's see, about 25 hours in this new season. Um, we hit 93. Very, very fun. So I want to kind of just go over my thoughts on the season because I think as a whole, a lot of people just don't like the season and or not playing. Um, so we're going to we're going to talk about a few things before the update that went live last night and just kind of just the overall thing. So um, to kind of follow in rack steps here, let's talk about the good things, right? Let's talk about the good things that came into the season. One is all the just right off the bat, which is my favorite thing is all the brand new um, ancestral gear pieces or just new gear pieces in general to the season. I think these things are great. I think the continuation of doing these is really good because it just allows for more build diversity. It brings new skills in like the Starfall for Meteors. Meteors just really wasn't a skill that basically anybody used it. Now it's something that can be really cool and fun for people to play like me. So the gear pieces are really nice, right? That's a big dub. Um, the class balancing changes all good i think in general just to kind of squeeze things like nerf some stuff that's too powerful make some other skills just better overall and just kind of closing the gap slightly but still allowing certain builds to still remain at the top right as a good example of this this season is barbarian where like hoda is still smashing but then you have a build like charge which is just taking over now it just seems to be like the most favorite to build in the season and what most people are playing as barbarian so just constantly changing the meta in a sense and just making more builds viable i think is just a better thing maybe not always be all equal in power level but very very good um a lot of really good things that they did was the timers the timers here are really nice we didn't have those last season and just always having these pop up is really really good they also pop up on an indication right under here when something's going like lot like legions about to go or when the hour comes up for the world boss etc so the timers is really nice um this season especially i really love the hub here this hub is great this kind of reminds me of like your hideout in path of exile where you just have like your waypoint here and then everything is close right you got the jeweler you got the blacksmith your stash probably should be in this main room i don't know why it's not i feel like they just put it in there but Nonetheless, just having everything a lot closer as opposed to a lot of your cities. Like if you go to Kovashad, everything's just really wide. Same thing in a lot of these other main towns. You just have to go like a much longer distance. So having them closer is really nice. Um, and then just having this hub base. I hope they continue to do something like this in the future and just give us something a little bit more customizable um, with this great hall. But I do like this. This is a really good thing. Let's see um let's talk about the startup of the season i didn't get to start right at launch but there's been little bugs i know there are people have had bugs here and there but there's been little little bugs to the season which i think is good i think that's a great thing um i haven't experienced too many bugs myself there's only been a couple one in the end of the vaults when you're doing the main room you don't get any xp which is a problem and I haven't had any other issues really that I, that are outside of that. The season has been actually pretty smooth for me. Um, so the next thing I really liked into this season was the quest line. The quest line was actually really, really good. The quest line is the best one of, out of all three seasons. The, the one from last season of the season of blood was just met and season one was probably the worst storyline out of all of them. This one has been great. I really loved going through and experiencing the story. And then just going through and doing the the brand new boss, which is another great addition to this season. But just going through and experiencing the traps is really cool. Seeing the quest line and just kind of going back and forth through the hub. Um, it was definitely the most immersive storyline to date so far. And we've only had three seasons, so big dub on that. So let's get into some of the things that I liked about the season so far. And then we'll get into a lot of the bad stuff. So before the uh, updates... Um, the pet itself, I think, is a cool idea. I think the pet itself is a cool idea. We'll get into a lot of the bad stuff about the pet in just a second. But I think the idea of having a pet is really cool. I hope they bring 
just something like this in the future that's more of like a cosmetic and doesn't really do anything um if they are going to make it do something it needs to do a lot more but we'll talk about that in a second so i like the idea of the pet um i actually really love the vaults this season i think the traps are really cool um they're not too complicated but they are really nice uh it makes it just kind of refreshing to do something different besides just a nightmare dungeon itself but then again after you're doing about like 50 of these vaults even with the new changes um it's, it's just kind of like nightmare dungeons all over again but the rewards are much better at the end uh, if you guys have seen some of my other videos the rewards at the end are just insane uh let's see what else do i really like about this season um i really love the hell tides are up we already know that the hell tides are up these are up every hour with a five minute cooldown this is very good we really need as many or as much end game content available as soon as we can at all times so being able to do a hell tide just non-stop um and the increase in like grigor or no not the increase the change in grigor runs in world tier three much better to help gear yourself up so the hell tides is definitely a dub um, the next thing is the Tree of Whispers. There was a big buff with the Tree of Whispers that I think is great. You get more of the um, Varsham rewards, which is really nice. So it makes doing this much better. The seasonal theme in the overworld, which is here, is really nice. They tried to replicate the Vamp Tides, which is by far the best thing that we've had out of all three seasons. So we kind of have something similar here. It isn't as infinite as the vamp tides were but it is very good so i do like that okay uh outside of that let's get into the bad because i know everybody loves the bad so they can just bash blizzard and the devs and all those baby baby fresh 21 year olds that are doing this um so first and foremost the pet the pet is even prior to the update last night, because this is the day of recording, the 28th, um, even with that change, with the update, the pet does nothing. So um, we had some people comment on my videos asking me about the things to put in for the pets. And um, even with the new changes to make these runes or stones easier to upgrade, which is good, these level up much faster now and you get a lot more of them which does make this go a lot faster the pet basically does nothing the only thing that's really good about a pet is some of the utility stuff here so like flash of adrenaline for a little bit more damage resource for for primary resource reach or um gain back but outside of that the power level of the pet is just non-existent the update said that once we get all these to 10, we'll get to unlock the full potential of the pet. So I'm trying to do that by running vaults and just leveling these all up. And I still need to get the two uniques, which hopefully will just add another big power spike. But through the leveling process of the season and up until 93, the pet just doesn't do anything. Another big issue with the pet is like, there's so many times where I'm just moving and I'm much faster than my pet. And they just cannot keep up. Like if I'm moving around a lot of the times, like where's my pet? You just don't even see him. Where's my pet? Do you guys see my pet? Is he helping me? He must be doing a lot of damage for me or giving me some bonuses. Oh, there he is. He spawned. So it's, um, it's, uh, the and, and just looking at the damage, look at the damage the pet's doing. Look at the health bar of the pet, or of the uh, the shambling corpse here. He's like doing no damage. My flame shield's doing that damage. So there's no power level spike or real assistance from the pet, and that's something that I really do not like. At least with the vamp powers, last season you immediately felt a huge power spike in the beginning which is great um another thing even with the increase to the runes um and how many of them drop it's still random i talked about this in another video it's still a random drop you can see i'm still sitting on slowing level one these go to level 10 i'm 25 hours in and i've only found one of these so it's a completely random 
on the stones that you get there's no way to like not necessarily target but there's no way to just like if i want to upgrade this because i want to use it i just can't i have to find it randomly on a drop which is extremely annoying it um you know even with the increase the increase is nice but because it's random it just it just adds to how long it's going to take uh in season two when you got all the potent blood you had all your skills you just sat here for five minutes and you just smashed your left click until they all leveled up and you're done so i think that needs to be changed in some way i'm not sure how that would be but that's something that's also very annoying when you're trying to get all these to 10. it's just very random you can see that my stones like one one two eight seven four three like there's some that are just been stuck forever so um yeah now besides the pet let's talk about the season mechanic which is just the traps themselves in the vaults i like the vaults the increase to the reese or like the the rewards at the end very satisfying it makes it worth doing on top of all your normal rewards as far as your glyph exp um the other half of that is like the traps are just real easy um and now that you can spend your pearl of wardings and everyone you spend gives you 10 of the shield instead of three it makes running these very easy but also very satisfying so it does make it easy you just kind of fly through them um, but the traps just aren't really uh you don't really get affected by the traps i mean it's cool to dodge them and just play dodge duck dip dive and dodge but uh yeah it's just kind of lackluster as a theme overall i think if you created an alternate character here because people do that uh, and again, you would have to find all of these tuning stones all over again if you created another character. So I think that if you created an alt, like one of my community members, DT, you don't even have to use this. He's he's almost level 80. He has not done the quest line where you even unlock your pet and it hasn't changed the way the game is played at all. So you would, I would think with a seasonal theme, you would want to have some kind of impact so I don't know if getting these stones to level 10 is really going to do that, but we'll see. We're trying to get them to 10, at least the ones I'm using. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, let's see. Outside of that, guys, uh, this season, I've really enjoyed it. I've been having a blast playing with my community and just having fun. Um, I haven't been really like hardcore grinding like I had in the past where I'm playing crazy amount of hours off stream just to kind of get things done. I've been really just enjoying the experience as it's as it is because of the second half of last season um one other big l this is probably the biggest l we talked about this when the campfire stream happened and i know you guys all know about it the biggest l that they ever could have done was delay the leaderboards by a month we cannot do leaderboards for one month into the season i can see where they're coming from with the hey we want everybody to be level 100 we want everybody to have the best gear so that way when the leaderboards are up everybody is even we don't want them at the start of the season because then the blasters get to do it first because they're blasting and the regular casual andes don't get a chance to hit the leaderboards so it's just a big l they hyped up this season so much from last season about leaderboards and we don't have them it's the biggest l it's one of the coolest things that we had in diablo 3 when a new season hits people race for the leaderboards and we don't have it so uh big l by the devs there i just don't understand the logic and why they would do that another part of it is because they want to extend i i would think they want to extend content throughout a three-month season because as we saw last season and in season one, roughly about a month, month and a half into the season, there's a big fall off of Diablo players. So because there's nothing to do, there's not enough content. So even last season when they did the midwinter blight, which was roughly a month before the season ended, there was a few people that came back to play, but then pretty much everybody left after about two days because of the content was just not there. So unless you were farming Durio runs for Uber uniques, um, there was really not a lot of content to do, and this is why a lot of people leave. Um, a big part of that is the lack of the end game. So we still have the boss ladder, and the brand new boss is actually really fun to fight. I think they need to put more bosses in here like this. Um, that's another big W, I think, the boss fight. I think that's really, really cool. 
Uh, but yeah, that right there, guys, that's my overall thoughts. I'm still enjoying the season. I'm still going to play. Uh, but we got a long way to go. And I think that the devs have kind of like their backs against the wall and they really need to start just listening to the community more and just putting out as much as they can. They got a lot of competition right now with other games in general, but Last Epoch is about to release. Path of Exile 2 is coming out later this year. Uh, the beta is getting ready to come out for that game and it will release by the time we get our brand new expansion for Diablo 4. So if the game is not, you know, chef's kiss by then, I don't know what's going to happen. But I love playing Diablo. I enjoy it a lot. So devs, this is all constructive feedback. I don't want it to seem like I'm bashing or whatever because you guys do do some good, you know, some things, right? But I want this game to succeed. So hopefully, you know, it does. Like the video, guys. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Give me your thoughts, okay? Try to be have constructive feedback. Don't just say D4 bad. And, yeah, let's get the conversation going to help try to improve this game. Um, but, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, guys. And, as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.